Welcome back. It's uh, Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Sebastian Bach is coming in. He's got a new book out <laughs> called 18 in Life on Skid Row. Sebastian hey, Bach. Hey, Welcome. Right. How's it going? Sit down. How are you? know Dan hey, Soder? How you doing, man? Hey. This is Dan How's Soder. How are you? Welcome to the show, man. Thank you. How's it going? Well... We were just on uh, Fox and Friends. I was watching you this morning on you Fox saw and Friends. Right before you were the show. Up? Uh, yeah, oh my we were. God. We got to do morning radio. I. Uh, but then the next guest. The, that girl on Fox and Friends was all over you, by the way. <laughs> when, the blonde. Chick, I don't. Chick stick singers. I don't know if she was the <laughs> the the weather girl or what. I think she's new on Fox and Friends. But she was like, she was like, I'm a big Sebastian Bach fan. Do you think they had to tell her to cool it off after he left? Like, um, hey, next time. My wife, drunk. my wife's gonna go kick her ass. Yeah, yeah. That's my wife's yeah. But um, she was into him, right? Were you there? She was into him, right? We're yeah. Kick her yeah. butt, babe. I say you have to delete her off Facebook. Oh, oh no, Facebook oh. friends. Facebook will wreck everything. Yeah, it really does. It's all Dude, saved. Dude, I, I lost so many friends on this election. You did. Yeah, like if I'd stick up for Hillary, I'd just get attacked. Mm -hmm. It was you the know? same on both. People were just fucking unfriending like each other. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. Screaming at each other. I don't do politics on Facebook. I do it in real, real life on Facebook. It's too exhausting. Some guy, I defended Hillary Clinton, and then some guy, my your buddy Jameson, goes on my page and calls my uncle a, a fucking moron. <laughs> my <laughs> uncle's like, my, yeah, well, you think the fucking world is flat and shit. You're a moron. I go... My uncle's like seventy two. <laughs> he lives in like Colorado. Like what? Like, like you can't call my uncle a fucking moron. <laughs> like you're uh, you're unfriended. Isn't it just and, he's amazing? Like, and then he's like, "Sorry, man. You know." And I'm like, "Dude, I'm done with you." Like yeah, after everything that you've done and everything that you've been through, you're still dealing with the Facebook bullshit. That oh, all no my one, God. no one escapes that. No, no one escapes, and it's random family members that get it the worst. <laughs> Cousins, uncles. It's not fucking people you want to get it. It's yeah. not old high school friends that you wish you could delete. Yeah, it's people yeah. You're like ah shit. Oh, how's, how's about this? Like, cause you have to use your real name. You got to put your old school, so then you get people that you haven't seen since you're like twelve, like giving you advice like now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I haven't fucking seen you since I was twelve. Oh, like you read I go, like a... I go literally. I guess we're not twelve years old anymore. <laughs> Delete. Like fuck, go away. Or like a, I, I read like a smart ass comment on one of my photos. Like, like, I don't know you anymore, <laughs> dude. Like, <laughs> who's this troll? And it's my uncle. Oh. <laughs> like, just like ah, oh. not aging too well, are you, Sam? It's my fucking uncle. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? He's not wrong. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I, I try not to engage in, in Facebook. It's just too exhausting. Because Twitter, at least, there's a certain amount of characters. Yeah. On Facebook, it just gets too long, yeah. and I know most of those people. And Twitter so. kind of disappears, right? Like Facebook yeah. has this this sort of thing of like it's on your page, and people see it at different times, so it just feels permanent. It well, has the, the 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 form of Facebook. It's just so easy to leave like an attack under under a picture. Yeah. Like yeah. if you have a Twitter, you can like reply, but you can't leave like a hundred. Replies. Right, everybody doesn't see you know the replies. Well, that's right. That's yeah. right. Like your highlight, you like you're captioning the photo yourself. That's right. And yeah. then there's like a hundred dick pussy. Fuck you. <laughs> Walk off. What do you think you're so good? <laughs> the see more. The see more button on Facebook is always a trouble starter. Why are you on my page? Yeah. Yeah, go like, away. There's more. There's more than just these three sentences, and you click see more, and it, it goes into a fucking. <laughs> It's like a scroll. You're like, this is way too much. But when you when you spend as much time much as you shit. did writing this book, like it's a yes. long book and you wrote it yourself. Yep. Like, aren't you tapped out as far as writing? Like, it's all in the book. Don't fucking worry about my Facebook page. I think we page. should tell people on your show. I have a new book. That's it's right. called 18 and Life on Skid Row, and it's in stores today. And it's the number one selling book on Amazon rock and roll category. Hey. Right. Yeah. Tell your friends on Facebook. <laughs> so they'll take it. Yeah. And, uh... Just, you know, writing a book entails countless hours just sitting in front of your computer screen. And and other than that, literally just torturing everybody around you. Like, be quiet. Go, you can't be in this side of the house. I got to write a book. Fuck, it's got to be good. You can't fucking watch TV in the living room. You got to go in the basement. Why'd you, why didn't you get a co-writer? <laughs> you did the whole thing yourself. You didn't want anybody Cash. to... Cash. Okay, oh, okay, there you go. I like making money. <laughs> yeah, oh, you gotta sense. give this guy that you don't know a third. Fuck that. <laughs> How's about I fucking write the motherfucker? <laughs> How long did it take you to write it? Four years. Okay. You know, I was reading it. 
<laughs> and I was a little, I was bummed out by one thing. Like what? I, I got to this point in the early on in the book. Okay. I really thought I was going to hear a story about you fucking Christina Applegate when she was 16. Right. Well, you almost read almost, that. And then, like, and then you're like, yeah, and we were called. Yeah. It was like right after she like started on Married with yeah. Children and you met her in, the, in a club and everything. No, she just she was a Skid Row fan. Right, like, that's she, what it was. That's she what it was. was on the side of the stage yes. on the Bon Jovi tour like for our show, and we just couldn't believe it. But like... And it's like, yeah, and we kept in contact a little bit, and I'm like, oh, shit, what am I reading here? And then he... Fesses up and says we made out a little bit and cuddled, yeah. but no that. fornication. I'm, sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. No know? fornication. Yeah. Okay. Was anybody mad about anything you put in the book? I don't know. It's it's only been out a couple hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shitstorm has It came out at yet. nine a.m. What is it? Ten? <laughs> <laughs> we, like we got about fifty minutes minutes into this thing. Usually, I'm sure it, somebody is. Yeah. yeah, stuff leaks out though. If there's you bad about somebody, okay, it leaks. I say this over and over. In the book, you know, everything's dated. As most of it's a long time ago, 30 years ago. This is way before the internet, way before cell phones. I just sit down and, like, remember this shit, you know? With all the stuff we were doing, that wasn't exactly easy. <laughs> but, you know, kick everybody out of the house. And Do, you think, <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's anybody that's going to flip to a certain part of the book, like guessing where they are in your life? Like, I bet there's some shit about me in this part of the book. Yes. And just dive right in. Eddie, you said Eddie, the book's Trunk, like, Eddie Trunk is the guy that flips through looking through his name. Yeah, he's yeah. going through <laughs> like, <laughs> you think, yeah. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> well, the whole book's about you, dude. 450 pages. All you. <laughs> Man, I, I was... I was I was I was googling you and stuff and the Bon Jovi stuff is what is really was the promo leak or whatever well, it was. Well no, that was like a New York Post. Yeah. You know, like it's not bad for the book. No, but listen, again, this was a long time ago. There's an incident that you're referring to in 1989. <laughs> right. We used to have these ends of tour hijinks. And the New York Post headline yesterday <laughs> is <laughs> John Bon Jovi's dad threatened to kill Sebastian Bach. There's a nice headline. <laughs> That's a great There's headline. a lovely headline. But that, that refers to a very specific incident that happened where I learned if you insult one Italian, mm -hmm. the whole fucking family comes at you. I see. The father, the brother, right. the, everybody, and the road crew. So why'd you insult him? What happened? Because he whipped fucking, he dunked my head in a vat of ice milk. Mm. I don't want to give away the whole book. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Who has ice milk on tour? That's yeah. such an odd it was thing. The end of tour hijinks. You remember oh, okay. that shit where bands would grease up the drumsticks? Oh, I didn't know they'd do that. No, I know they <laughs> just. <laughs> well, I was on the road with Pantera once, and I put my mic up to sing, and my my, my mouth starts burning, and oh, <laughs> what the fuck? And I wipe it off my lips, and my eyes are like ah! And they're all laughing, and they they had doused my mic in Tabasco. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking genius. And they go, here you go, dude. And I'm yeah. fucking running out. I'm going, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to wipe it off. It's going in my eyeballs. Like, everybody's looking at the stage. What's wrong with him? Yeah. I'm going, you fucking bastards. How how long did it last? How long were your eyes burning? Tabasco's hot. Like, and you get it in your eyes? I and smell, you're on stage? Ice milk would have helped, though. A Dunkin' ice milk would have helped. Yeah, Dunkin' ice milk would have helped That's everything. That's what they did. I was walking in the stage, Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. Lights were out, and I feel about six dudes just grab me. I don't know what's going on, and just dunk my head and hold me under in a vat of like freezing cold ice milk <laughs> as the first song is starting. Yeah. And I'm supposed to be up there for the first verse, and I'm under the stage. And you know when you jump into water, it's too cold, you get that vertigo? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I run up there in the pants going, what are you doing? <laughs> and I got milk all over me. But, but you got to read the rest of the yeah. chapter. Yeah, yeah. Well, the book, again, is called 18 in Life on Skid Row. But you still have, like, beefs. I was reading that you had some kind of rivalry with Michael Sweet, who's a, who's a singer. All I know is that in the history of headlines yeah. on, on Blabbermouth, yeah. Bach slams pussy sweet. <laughs> that could be the greatest headline of all rock. That's the name of my, my sex tape. What? Bach slams pussy sweet. Very nice. Fucking good headline. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Say that again. Box slams. Say it, Dan. Pussy sweet. Box slams. Pussy sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking headline yeah. For you. yeah. What a cool Dan. What a headline. Dan tries to slam pussy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Box headline. Box slams. Pussy sweet. Yeah, but how, I like it. How are you still getting into into rivalries with people in music? I don't get in. I don't. When, if I read something online, yeah, that has a little check mark next to it, so I know it's the dude saying. It, mm-hmm. I, I figure you can say it in person, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. If I say some shit, I expect people to say, "What's up?" Yeah. Like right. Bon Jovi's dad is like, "I didn't threaten to kill you." <laughs> <laughs> he said, <"Got> you? <laughs> you know, maybe he's waiting outside. Uh, like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what did Michael Sweet do to you? I don't know. He threw a Bible at me. <laughs> that's a, what a While he was wearing yellow and black stripes. He was? From head to toe. Yeah, it's a fucking amazing look. Why did he do that? I don't know, because he believes in God. <laughs> he has a clergy and a band. Yeah, well, it's like it's melded into one. Who's a, Michael Sweet? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the guy's throwing Bibles. You better he's, start praying. Oh, he's a Bible s- thrower? Singer, as far as I know. Oh, Bible thrower, Michael Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about that Bible thrower? Man? Yeah, Michael I know the Bible thrower, Mark and Michael Sweet. No, oh, that's his thing. Mm. That's how he ends every show with yeah, a fucking a Gideon bo- version, a King James <laughs> version. I didn't understand oh, what, the, okay. what the whole fight was about, but Michael Sweet from Striper yeah. uh, apparently said something online about some cover. Of a Skid Row song, and they he said it was better than when Sebastian did it. Oh. I think that's, I don't know. That's not why. I, I that's not why I slam Pussy Sweet. Why'd you slam Pussy Sweet? <laughs> 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 because he goes, plus he's a tool to boot. Oh, oh. and you're like, fuck you. I, dude. I'm a fucking tool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'll show you being a fucking tool. Is all about. How are you gonna call someone a tool? Let's have a contest and see who's a bigger fucking tool. But he's got that little piece of hair under his lip. Yeah. Yeah. patch. Soul patch. Anybody <laughs> wants to have a tool contest, I will win. Are you a bigger tool than most people? I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> guy's got a soul patch. That's part of my appeal. That is the tool badge of honor, isn't it? The soul patch. And when you're in a name, when you're in a band called Striper, you do. Uh, you wear stripes. You have to, uh, that's that's exhausting. That's the look, though. Yeah. It's a good look. It a is a good look, right? Yeah. It's you like were jealous because only <laughs> diagonal. You were jealous because you didn't think to wear stripes. That's I what know, this is about. That, look at that tie. <laughs> yeah, that's kind that, of badass. That reminds me of the Lord. <laughs> like that makes me feel all religious. Right, it puts you in touch with Jesus. That's right. Reminds me that's of right. I feel better. <laughs> cool. Why do they do you nicer. like that? Why do they say you're a tool for what? Jesus told them. It's to. a long story, and I really don't want to give them the time. Did you? Are oh, you just? But you don't like each other. Uh, he put out a headline once saying that he was asked to produce a Sebastian Bach record. Who the fuck do you think asked that question? Could it be me? <laughs> <laughs> One would think. I, I, I gotta say, I never asked any guy in Striber to, to produce my record. I, you didn't? No. No. <laughs> I, I never did. It's the way it is. Right. Sorry. Man, oh man. You know, there was another uh, interaction that I was interested in in the book. Okay. I think it was like... 88, 89, I couldn't believe, you were talking about uh, seeing Gene Simmons. Yeah. And Gene Simmons, like, and and this was like height of Skid Row, everything was going on. And even then, it was when Kiss was going through their no makeup phase. Yeah. And Gene was like, kind of, I don't want to say insulting you, but like reprimanding you for drinking alcohol. This is Sebastian. (laughs) What is that in your cup? He grabs it. Jack Daniels, how do you put this in your system? You're killing yourself. I'm like, oh my god, are you corny? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> like, if it's fucking okay for the Stones, what the fuck? It's just because you're, you're like the yeah, just, corny. Is, is a Keith great thing Richards to... corny? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. But it was just so corny. funny to think because he's like the biggest Kiss fan he ever. Loves Kiss. I love it. So the whole book's like a love letter to Kiss. Of course, yeah. yeah. That's, but like. The fact that, like, Gene wouldn't be like, well, yeah, maybe Sebastian, when he's, like, 19, 20 years old, is enjoying himself. He's having a beverage, you know what I mean? He's making me a new asshole. He is. <laughs> did, you ever open, did you ever get to open for them? I know the band did without you, but did you no. ever get to? No. No? Mm-mm. Bullshit. That sucks. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> That's okay, man. It's fucked. I'm busy enough, believe me, I'm busy. Whose idea was the dust jacket for the book? That was my idea, because as a Kiss fan, you want a fucking full... 
pull out color poster. Well, let me tell you oh, something. Included in oh. Dan Soder, you haven't seen this one yet. Look huh? at that. That's oh, a, yeah. That's a picture of me about one million years ago. You know what? You shouldn't have that one, though. No, no. You that's shouldn't last have that. week. That no, was no, because your penis bulge is showing. You probably shouldn't have that. Dude, when my, da- when my dad. <laughs> Look at that happy trail, huh? <laughs> Dude, when my dad saw me on the cover of Rolling Stone, I was so excited. I call home. I go, Dad, did you see the. You see the cover of Rolling Stone? His phone's like quiet. He goes, what the fuck is that? An armadillo in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got it from you. <laughs> That's did, what I, did you stuff for this picture? Or is this no, natural? That's all, I don't know. Stuff you can see ridges. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not that, I'm not that intelligent. I don't, I don't use tapes for my vocals. and I don't put oh, anything no, in my pants. That is all natural, huh? No. My hair is all real, too. Believe really? It Believe it or not. Look at that. Real deal. Look at real that. Real deal. I didn't even know that was a poster. Plus, I'm old. You didn't know this was a poster, Jim? No, I just, what you said, I didn't. Uh, I Every fucking issue, Jim. Now you love that book. Yeah. I'm going to get you to, <laughs> I'm going to get you to sign this. I'm going to put it up on my ceiling oh. before I go to bed. <laughs> just wait for the tape to give out? Oh, yeah. yeah come come back down to me. Come back down to me. <laughs> That's like in David Lee Roth, like, you know, when I had women and children first, I had to poster him like chained up to the fence with no shirt on. <laughs> it's not weird at all. It, yeah. is, weird, it is weird, the shirtless I rock thought stars. It was totally, yeah. I thought put this up. There was a time when like, that was metal, chin, though. Yeah. Like that a was dude fucking... chained to a fence with no shirt on. Like. <laughs> yeah. It's my have... favorite poster. It was cool back in the day. <laughs> so cool. He was yeah. so fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> certain things just don't hold over. No. <laughs> <laughs> they don't hold up. No, they, they, in hindsight, are a little weird. Is there anything you didn't want to write about? Like, is there anything you're putting, you're like, I'm going to make this the book, there's finally. A, there's a whole section on my computer called Cut Out of Book. <laughs> what's, what's there? Well, I don't, this isn't really a tell all. This is like a tell some. I mm. see. There was more sex. In in the previous version, but why wouldn't you put all the sex in? Because I would read it back, and it would read like, and then she reached down and unzipped my fly. And it's a romance. It was novel. too sexy. And, like, yeah. I just felt like Donald Trump. Fucking like I grabbed her pussy. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you can't put that in your fucking book. Did you ever do that you shit can. though? You ever grab a girl by the pussy? Some guys don't need to grab. Oh, I <laughs> see. It was offered. They were to just you. throwing it in his hand. He had to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a need to grab. I nothing. accepted the pussy in my hand. <laughs> yeah, it was given to me. D- drop it. Drop <laughs> it like a dog with a tennis ball. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> drop it. Okay. Thanks. Pussy yes. fetch. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ever going to release another book of all the salacious details? I, I, you know, I don't want to. I believe sex not, stories with Sebastian. You could uh, even do Harper a cover. Collins has already said they want another book. So. Yeah. You could do a cover like a romance novel with like a billowy blouse. Over. Yeah. I think what I'd really like to do is a travel log that might, on the surface, sound boring, but we just did forty gigs in the last two months in seven Jesus. countries. We played Mexico City like two nights ago, and and uh, people don't fucking get the like Kanye West gets it. He's at <laughs> home in bed. Yeah. I'm on serious radio. <laughs> <laughs> Did I'm tired. I'm thirsty. No <laughs> shit. You're how was, on the fucking road, dude. There's a glass of water. How was Mexico? <laughs> Mexico is good or is it scary? Yeah, gotta, it's grueling. Yeah. How is it grueling if you cancel it? Well, you've been on the road. I mean, that was annoying, right? Because he because oh! he walks out of a show three oh songs my God. in, and then he canceled like thirty He's the shows. Worst. We're, we're He's the playing worst. like in in Sudbury in the snow with the lifting up shit on the. Ice and the f- fucking... S- I'm not lifting, but yeah. somebody is. <laughs> <laughs> but he he doesn't have any equipment. He doesn't have a band. He's got not... He just him on a stage with a mic. Not to be a prick, but right. like, I don't, I don't think that that guy or the Kardashians like know what they signed up for, like in this world. You know what I'm saying? It's like they don't do anything. Right. They well, just something- have this name... I'm gonna be a rock star. <laughs> we <laughs> have a fucking nice time with that. How do you <laughs> fucking cancel all those? It's not gigs? as easy as you think it is. Like, right. Like, How do you leave oh, your it's fucking? It's tiring. It's grueling. Yeah. How do you leave I'm your thirsty. Fucking... <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You're thirsty. Yeah, get a fucking bottle what of are water. You, fucking ta- you don't even know what you're talking about. Right. He might have mental problems. Bull, that's a luxury. He might have. You don't think I have fucking mental fucking Oh, I, I, think, I, I think you might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That doesn't give me a right to cancel the gig. But Ozzy Osbourne, he's real stable. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think Kanye's awful. I think fucking o- Ozzy's up there shuffling around, peeing his pants. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't give a. Does fuck. he urinate himself? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, he does. That's as, why soon he dumps as, water. Bla- as soon as Black Sabbath's done, I'm doing an O solo record. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I mean, you've been on the road for uh, consistently 20, like 25 years? 30, 30, 30 years. years. There's no quitting you, is there? I enjoy it. I en what I really enjoy, specifically, yes. is touring by bus. You I, like that? I love the bus. I love being on the bus, rolling down the road. I don't like flying at 9 in the morning to the gig and getting to the hotel at... You know, when you're on the road and you're doing fly-ins, yeah. that, that, that sucks, going to the airport all the time. Mm -hmm. I like the bus. The bus is like a cocoon. Right. That's like I what Dan was forever. saying about his van that he takes to set. Mm -hmm. It's my little cocoon. <laughs> is that yeah. your cocoon. Where I get to hear poems. <laughs> That's right. And other cool things. Do you guys write poems? No. Oh. They don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you point. share the bus with the other band members or do you get your own? Uh, I, I get my own, like, suite in the back. Mm. Okay. Like a bedroom, a slide out. That'd be kind of fun to be on the bus. I've never yeah. done a tour bus, but it would be it would well, suck it to share it with people. I would hate all that. Would you want to bring Jim with you on the bus? Yeah, he's funny, man. I follow him on thank Twitter. You. Thank you. Yeah, we there it is. Yeah. Well, listen, everybody. I love, you. I love your stuff on Twitter. Thank I, you, man. I laugh at High all. High fives. The whole thank you, buddy. Everybody, get the book, man. It's called Sebastian Bach: Eighteen in Life on Skid Row. It's oh. out today. Let me plug on signings Amazon. Real quick. Yeah, you're doing signings and, and yeah. All Doing kinds a whole of book stuff. Tour. All over the place. Tonight yeah. in Brooklyn. You sure you're not going to get exhausted and have to cancel them? I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, St. Vitus in Brooklyn. Tomorrow, bookends in Ridgewood. How is that acceptable? <laughs> Thursday is uh, Eaton Town. He's got a whole bunch. Go to, uh, is there a website you can go to or maybe go to Sebastian's Twitter? At Sebastian Bach on Twitter. On Facebook. Yeah, yeah, he's got everywhere. He's doing Illinois, Michigan, St. Louis, Arizona, LA, and <laughs> Vegas at the Hard Rock December 17th. There's a shitload of uh, book signings. So go meet Sebastian by a book. And get it signed. Thanks, yeah. Jim. Let yeah. me sign yours right now. <laughs> Duh, Thank you, that. Sebastian Bach. <laughs>